Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make those trick candles that can never be blown out. So, for this project, you'll need a knife, a magnesium fire starter. This is the type that has flint at one end and attached to a brick of magnesium. I removed the flint from this one to use for something else. Or, if you don't have a fire starter, you can always just get pure magnesium. And lastly, you'll need a candle. First step is to grab a small piece of paper, like this note card, and fold the edges up to make a nice dish for the magnesium. Then take your fire starter and start shaving off bits of the magnesium into the dish. Little tiny pieces of it should be coming off. Keep going until you have a pile about this big. The exact amount doesn't really matter. Then grab a frying pan and put the candle in it. Then turn the stove onto low heat and wait for the wax to melt. Another trick that might help this work better is taking your magnesium, pouring it into a bowl, and grinding it up into a smaller powder. Once the wax melts enough, the wick should come loose. Then pull it out and place it in the bowl filled with magnesium. Then roll the wick around with the magnesium and make sure it's completely covered. After the wax has melted and then cooled down, you can go ahead and dip the wick into the liquid wax. Now the reason it needs to be cool enough is so this doesn't happen. You can see that all the magnesium is coming off. You don't want that. Also do short quick dips and eventually the wax will build up into a candle. So the finished product should look something like this. So let's go try it out. After we light it and let it burn for a while, if we try to blow it out, it'll come right back. When the candle is blown out, the magnesium around the wick catches, then relights the candle. If you like this video and want to see more, then please subscribe to my channel and like me on Facebook. And if you want over 20 of these projects in book form, then check out my DIY ebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.